he has proven to us that he's on our side. Because he has given to us his only begotten son. Who is our elder brother, our redeemer. And in his infinite wisdom, he's left us in the hands of the Holy Ghost. And it is the Holy Ghost, Papa Tulin, who is now in charge of the church. Everyone having a passage, 
really signify the same amen. Amen. Now you will find these words in the 15th chapter of Mark, verse 33 and 34. And when the sixth hour was come, yeah. there was darkness Dark. over the whole land Whoa. until the ninth hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the ninth hour, mm -hmm. Jesus cried with a loud voice. Eloi, Eloi, Lema Sabbath Deli, which is interpreted, being interpreted, my God, my God, my God, my God. why has thou forsaken me? My Lord. I ask that you would pray with me tonight as I talk to you about this cry in the dark. This cry in the dark. We have come to refer to Jesus' comments as he hang on Calvary. Oh, man, but no. 
but Luke, what Mark says, what Matthew says, what Luke says about darkness covering the whole land is not an issue that for me because I understand that darkness can cover the land periodically. But what happens is Mark identifies the time that darkness occurs. Mark says it appeared at the sixth hour. Theologians and scholars and scientists have researched the matter and they've all concluded that it's impossible for solar activity to have caused darkness to appear at the, at the sixth hour. God, darkness appeared. Darkness appeared at the sixth hour according to the Jewish time, the Jewish time frame. They cut the day, they put the day, organized, categorized it into hours, and the six to nine was, was the six was the first hour. Nine was the third hour. Twelve noon was the sixth hour. And that's the conclusion of it. That it's impossible for that to be that for that had to be an eclipse uh, for darkness to cover the land. So darkness showed up at an unusual, unfamiliar time. Darkness showed up without clouds being present. Darkness showed up without storm winds blowing. They could not say a storm arrived. At an unusual time, an unfamiliar time, and isn't it amazing that darkness can appear at some of the most unexpected times? I wish I had somebody with me. Some of you have had to deal with darkness at such an unexpected time, and times when darkness was not supposed to have come. Can I get a witness here? Darkness is covered at the sixth hour. That's high noon. That's twelve. That's in the middle of the day. Darkness is not supposed to come by itself. And it's all right if it comes with a tornado or a hurricane and a strong wind. We can understand that the darkness shows up by itself. And some of you who have to deal with breast cancer. In the midday. Some of us have had to deal with prostate cancer, colon cancer, in the midday. Some of us have had to cry over children because darkness showed up in the midday. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Some of you have had to deal with financial distress because darkness showed up. And an unfamiliar and unusual and unexpected period. Yeah, yeah. Darkness. Darkness showed up. It's one of the phenomenons. It's impact on care. Not just did he cause this phenomenon. The little brothers and sisters. It was called Gagaf. But he changed God off by the mere presence. He changed God off by his presence. His presence caused change. Before Jesus went to God before he went, it was called the place of the skull. Yeah. It was referred to commonly as Golgotha. Yeah. But now the world calls it Calvary. Because he went there. There were thousands of men who went there before he did, Bishop Cooper, but his presence changed it from Golgotha. Can I get a witness here? His presence always makes a difference. 
of the disciples. I've got to go into Jerusalem. And I'll suffer many things at the hands of the Jews. <laughs> and Peter said it all be far from him. He was so focused on his suffering that he looked at Peter and said, get behind me. Satan, he wasn't afraid of a suffering. Uh, he wasn't afraid of his surmise to death. It wasn't death that was agonizing him. He, he came to handle death. Matter of fact, matter of fact, this is what he said to me too. Papa Twitter, I heard him say, I ain't scared of death. I ain't got nothing. 